Hi, this is JP from Not The Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another playthrough in the Mutant Genesis campaign playthrough series. And we are continuing with uh, Remy Lambeau or uh, Gambit in protection aspect using the same deck as before. Uh, we are up to mansion attack, so the fourth scenario in the campaign box. And let's just quickly go over the deck. Okay, so I am using the same you know, reverse Gambit protection deck from Classy Robot that I have been using the whole playthrough series here. So uh, the deck uh, really revolves around building up Gambit's defenses so that you can just then use the accumulated uh, charges to play your attack events and just pulverize the enemy. So not going into much detail about this deck again, because I didn't build it, but there is a really good overview, overview on the site. Uh, so I'll put the link in the video description if you want to check the, uh, the deck out and test it out for yourself. So let's hop back over to the scenario. Okay, and <clears throat> we are ready to begin basically. So I already shuffled the uh, multiple villains into a pile. And we got Avalanche as the first villain we have in play. Uh, as campaign setup, we put the surprise attack side scheme into play. And uh, when defeated, we shuffle one of the two remaining um, futures past modular set cards into the encounter deck. We already have Nimrod and one other card which I can't remember, but uh, they are shuffled there. And uh, also, we get to pick, because we defeated the last side scheme for the campaign side scheme, so we get to pick uh, one defender um, card upgrade um, at random. So, uh, we'll see what we get this time. So, uh, we get direct intervention. So, if we defeat this one, we'll get this in the last scenario, but this reads heroic intervention, zero cost upgrade skill, hero action, thwart, spend three resources of any type, remove five threat from among schemes in play, you gain tough status card, remove this card from the game and the campaign pool. So this will be really useful if we are risking of getting threaded out here. And let's just do this also, so we have put the save the school environment into play. I have uh, I am playing on the standard, so we need to defeat two villains to win the scenario. And uh, we have done that, so we can advance this. So, when revealed, deal each player a face down and counter card. Advance to the next card in the main scheme deck and add this card into the victory display. So, this goes away. And these are also all shuffled, so I don't know which um, main scheme we are getting first. So we are starting from the cafeteria. So each character gains retaliate. So just to remind myself, I'll put retaliate here and here. So I won't forget. That might be annoying. So if there are three main schemes in the victory display, the players lose the game. So hopefully we can defeat uh, two villains before that happens. But that is everything done in the setup. So let's get started. Okay, we are ready to begin, so I'll draw my opening hand. Six cards. Uh, we get Gambit Skilled Armor, great. Hard Nox, Charge co the card, uh, Charge Card, Armored Vest, Not Today, and Rogue. Well, mm, I think I will ditch Not Today, Charge the card. And hard knocks. See what we get. So we get Forge, Beauty and the Thief, and Hard Knocks. Well, not that great of a start, but it is what it is. We are playing Rogue later on when we get some accumulated uh, charges on the Gambit. So I think I am not at attacking, so I will try Gambit's own. Uh, Ability here. 
So I will exhaust, look at the top two cards, and uh, I think I want to discard this so I won't get the won't get this. So we get the uh, protect the student. Well, we remove one threat from a scheme. That's at least something, but. Uh, let me. Yeah, so Avalanche will get uh, two boost. I'm just uh, quickly checking without looking <laughs> what card is on, on top. Yeah, so I have the right, right side. I, I was uh, thinking that Avalanche has three attacks, so. But did I have the expert version up? I didn't, so that's great. Well, uh, we will use Beauty and the Beast to play Gambit's Guild Armor. We'll use Hard Knocks to play Armored Vest. And uh, we'll keep the rest. We'll flip to Hero Mode, and that is our turn. Uh, we ready up. We draw one, two, three cards, we get Molecular Acceleration, Creolic Charmer, and Powerful Punch. And before we actually do that, I again forgot, I will add one charge to Gambit. Uh, we'll go to the Villain phase, we add one card here, Avalanche Attacks, and uh, I will just defend. So Avalanche uh, hits for It's for 3 plus, we know 2, so 5, and we have armored vest, so we take 1 damage, so unfortunately we can't ready. But we retaliate the tough ones at least, and we get encounter cards, so we had 1, uh, we actually get 2 because of the surprise attack, so this may, might be painful. Uh, Brotherhood beat town, while re uh, when revealed, for each of the following enemies in play, Avalanche exhaust your identity, it is already exhausted, so that is that. And Groundswell. When revealed, Avalanche activates against you if he is not in play. Well, Avalanche attacks for 3 plus trees. <laughs> oh dear, this is a short game. So we just took 6 to the face, but we retaliate 1. <clears throat> this might be a short one. So that was that. And Immobile. So Blob activates against you if he is not in play. So it's the encounter deck and discard pile for Blob minion and reveal him. So this is off to a very bad start. So I think we might have to uh, possibly scoop up and uh, try again. But I'll try to struggle as long as I can without <laughs> without. Uh, doing that so yeah that is the villain phase what a brutal phase that was so a forced response after avalanche attacked you exhaust an ally you control we don't have any allies so that didn't affect us but that is that round let's go to the next round okay well uh, let's see if we can regroup so I'll charge the card I'll use molecular acceleration when you spend this card place one charge counter on Gambit. So we get to play Rogue with that card. Rogue has tough. Then I am actually thinking of uh, flipping to Alter Ego and using Powerful Punch and Forge to play Creolic Charmer so that we can re remove three threat from here. And because we removed the last threat, we confused the villain. Oh, okay. So at least now we are pretty safe in Alter Ego. And this goes away. So we get the reactive defenses. Alter Ego action spent all different resources. Will 5 damage to each enemy in play. Remove this card from the game. Just set it up there. Or it's an obligation, we can have it somewhere here. And we won't do, do anything with Rogue yet. 
And that is our turn. Be ready up. Get one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Uh, Joe Casta, Natural Agility Gambit Staff, Hard to Ignore, Judoka Skills, and Electrostatic Armor. So we get more of our upgrades online next round. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. We remove the confused and Blob adds one threat to the main screen. Okay. <clears throat> and that is the villain uh, activation. We will get an encounter card and... Oh yeah, before we do that, we have to shuffle one of these cards into the encounter deck. Okay. Always uh, forgetting to do the activation on the campaign side scheme, but it is what it is. Okay, I think that's enough shuffling. So we get an encounter card and it is assault, so uh, this card gain search. Uh, toad. So we get Toad into play. So force response after Toad attacks and damages a character you control. Discard one random card from your hand. So I think we will try to do this next round to defeat Toad and Blob with the help of Rogue and put a dent into Avalanche. But we'll see how that goes. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, so we need all different resources, and we have them, so great, and uh, I'm keeping all of these upgrades. Judoka skills is too expensive at this moment, so I'm doing this alter ego action, so spend one uh, energy, one mental, and one physical resource. Deal five damage to each enemy in play, remove this card from the game, so this is removed from the game. Toad is defeated, uh, Blob is down to 1 health, and Avalanche takes 5, and that wasn't an attack, so we don't take the Retaliate. We will definitely heal with Remy, so we are up to 5 health, and uh, we might as well use Hard to Ignore to play Gambit's... No, uh, yeah, Gambit's Staff. We'll flip to hero mode, and Rogue will kill off the blob, so Rogue doesn't take the retaliate, but loses the tough. Okay, well, we are stabilizing, but still a long way to go, so we ready up. We keep the electro static armor in hand. Uh, we get four cards, Professor X, hard to ignore, energy and genius, so we'll definitely play Professor X next round. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase, we add one threat here, avalanche attacks, and uh, I will defend. And we will deal one damage to avalanche. Then avalanche hits for six, but we defend for four, so we take two damage, so we're down to three, so not having luck with our defenses. And we retaliate one. Okay. Encounter card for this round is uh, Homo Superior. Attach the a mi minion and give it tough status with card. Otherwise, this card gains search. So it searches. Uh, Pyromanic. So when revealed, Pyro activates against you. If he's not in play, search the encounter deck and discard part for the Pyro minion and reveal him. So I think we haven't seen Pyro. Yeah. So we'll search for Pyro from our, this, uh, our encounter deck and put him into play, but we can easily... Oh yeah, and I charge the card this round also, so we are up to four. So I think we can easily defeat Pyro in a few turns. Okay. Then, uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, let's see. Um, I will use the Electrostatic Armor, or uh, I'll use the Heart to Ignore and Genius to play Professor X. 
So, after Professor X enters play, choose one, confuse the villain, stun a minion or ready an X-Men character at the end of the round. If Professor X is still in play, discard him. So, uh, we want to ready an X-Men character, so we ready Gambit. We'll just use this to play the electrostatic armor also. And Rogue will hit Pyro for two and Gambit will finish him off. And Rogue actually takes one uh, retaliate. And I will ski uh, uh, Thwart for three with Professor X. And Pyro is defeated. And I'll charge the card. Be ready up. We draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ready up these. We get Curly Charmer, Natural Agility, Hard to Ignore, Powerful Punch, and Molecular Acceleration. So, um, we'll go to the villain phase. Uh, Avalanche attacks, and Professor X will defend. And uh, let's see. I will play a powerful punch with the molecular acceleration and spend three to deal uh, seven damage to avalanche. But I'll take one retaliate. But we defeat avalanche. So avalanche goes underneath here. And we get Blob. Okay, well, uh, Blob has uh, 16 health to go through. So I'm hoping we can do that in a few turns here. So um, I'm not sure. I think that attack was cancelled because we got a different villain in play. So I th I'm playing it like that. So we get an encounter card, and it is gang up, so Blob activates against me again. I will uh, pop hit, hits for two, and I'll play the natural agility to defend with Gambit. And uh, I will, uh, this should be ready, so I'll deal one damage. Then Blob hits me for something, uh, we don't take any damage. And we use the electrostatic armor to deal one and retaliate for one. And I'll put one damage back because we had a tough here. So that was removed with the staff. And we get an encounter card. No, that, uh, we already did that. So that was that round. Uh, Professor X goes away at the end of the round. And we are ready. Uh, I actually get to ready Gambit with the guild armor now. So that was that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, mm, I think I'm just playing the hard to ignore. Then I will. Mm, I will go into Alter Ego and heal. For three, we need to slow down a bit and get some attack events into hand. And before we went to Alter Ego, we touched the card, and that is our whole turn. We ready up. We draw one, two, three, four, five, six cards. We get uh, not today, unflappable, powerful pump, charge the card. And the X jet and charge the charged card, so we are dealing some damage next round. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Blob schemes for one plus zero, and we get an encounter card. And it is again a surge because of Homo Superior. We don't have a minion in play, and we get hopping mad. So Toad at base against you. Well, you search for Toad and put Toad into play, and that's that. So. Okay, well, that was that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, I think we can ignore Toad 
and just try to deal as much damage this round as possible. So we'll flip to hero mode, we'll charge the card, we will uh, see, uh, I'll deal, uh, I have 14 damage to go. Okay, so uh, Gambit and Rogue will hit for 4 and I need to deal Okay, so I'm using Not Today and Unflappable to play Judge the Card and I'll use 3. So we deal 7 damage and take 1 Retaliate. Then we will play the other charge the card, use these two to deal 6 damage. And Gambit will just end the game. So that is that. So, well, that was a swingy game, but we got there in the end. So Blob is defeated, please go away. We have defeated two villains. So, uh, we just quickly read the resolution then. Uh, so... Let's see, victory if the surprise attack side scheme was defeated, recorded in the Campbell log, we did. Remove each feature path card in the victory display, there are none. And we add the one that we had, and I'm not sure which one it is, but we'll see in the next game. Uh, remove each role, upgrade and begin. So we didn't get to use this, but it's removed from the campaign pool. And we don't have Jubilee, so yeah. Well, that, <laughs> that was a... Tough start, but we managed to uh, recover quite well uh, at the end. And uh, yeah, uh, this this deck can really pack a punch when you get it set up and uh, going. But uh, that that looked a bit bad uh, in the mid, uh, at the start. But we got some healing done and got back into the fight. So hope you like. Uh, yeah, so hope you guys like this playthrough, thanks for watching and until next time.